Hey folks, how y'all doing? It's Chris Kepix again from ChrisKepix.com. You might have seen the uh, earlier uh, video I did kind of showing off some of my hunting stuff. Well, I uh, went out and got my first compound bow. It's the first one I've ever owned and uh, I'm not quite sure of all the, uh, you know, how to use it and, and everything, but I'm going to learn the best I can. Uh, I can learn a lot of stuff actually from, from you guys. Your uh, comments and responses are actually pretty uh, helpful. I enjoy those. Also, you know, I can always go up to my local Bass Pro Shops or um, Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, who else can I get tips from? But mainly I'm counting on you, you know. Watch uh, how gooberish I am in these videos and give me tips and pointers on how to be a, a better archer, okay? So this is my first compound bow. Of course, I showed you my crossbow, uh, showed you my air rifle. There's my crossbow. And there's my new compound bow. This is a uh, made by Bowtech Diamond, and it's called uh, Black Ice. That's the number. I'll, I'll give you. I'll tell you a little bit more about the specs on this. Um, let me just set this camera up here so you can see me. This is how I had it set up the other night. Remember? Okay. Yeah, that's good. All right. Let me grab the bow. Hang on. So I really, I'm a little hesitant about shooting it because um, I hear you're supposed to go and get these things tuned first. And I don't know the first thing about that, so I'm probably going to go and get it tuned. Now this little thing here, um, I don't know what it's called, but I think that I need to undo it and then tie one end of it here on this string and then tie another one here on the one you pull back. I don't know, maybe that's some sort of dampener or something. Uh, it's got these really cool sights. I don't know how good you can see them, but they're they're lit up. They're not. There's no battery or anything. It's just when the light hits them, they light up the little uh, points. Okay. So anyway, now I'm going to show you how to cock it back. At least this is as far as I've gotten with this bow. Um, it's it's a little hard to do actually. But um, oh, well, let me tell you a little bit more about this. this. is a black ice 2008 model black ice. Draw length is 29 inches. Draw weight is 60 pounds. Uh, CSL, I guess, 33 and 1 fourth. STR, 88 and 5 sixteenth. So I'm not quite sure what all that means, but uh, this is Black Ice, Diamond Black Ice by Bowtech. Okay, so I got. This comes, I can tell you, I know that this is called a quiver. I got a quiver that comes with it where you stick your your arrows there and your, your sight and your biscuit. The old biscuit. This is a biscuit right here. I guess this is where the arrow sits. Okay, so anyway, let me cock one back here and show you. It's, uh, and I guess I'm supposed to put the, uh, I know that the, this, the different color, um, feather, or whatever this thing's called, is supposed to go up. I learned that from YouTube. Um, and I think I put it right there above that little nick thing. I don't know, maybe I put it below it. I don't know, it seems more even below it, doesn't it? Anyway, put it in there. And then you pull it back. <sighs> Okay, now once you get it back, it's it's pretty good. You can do whatever. You can hold it here for a while. But it was really difficult to pull back. Is that normal? And then let it go. I don't ugh, I don't want to let it go because I want to shoot a hole in my garage or my couch. But um, that's it. So I guess I, I need to go and get this tuned. And I'm looking forward to using this, this hunting season. First time. Uh, hopefully for some white-tailed deer. And whatever else Chickahominy has, that's where I usually go. Chickahominy, Virginia is where I uh, went hunting last year. And uh, this is, I don't know what this is called either, but I know a lot of the stuff on this bow, like these little pieces of rubber here, help to um, keep it quiet. I know that. And absorb some of the, uh, the force. Anyway, this is it. This is my new bow. I'm pretty sure that I'm supposed to untie this and then retie it one in here and then one in here. Oh, stick one in on this thing here. Anyway, let me know what you think and uh, give me some advice, any sort of hunting advice or bow advice, or if you can even forward me to um, 
another YouTube page, like a good how-to uh, archery type thing, or just a... Uh, because I, I can learn the best by watching other people and their videos. I can read a book, but it's not the same as actually watching somebody do it. And since none of my friends hunt at all, I can't really have anybody show me how to, to do it. I, like I said, I suppose I could go up to Bass Pro Shops or Dick Sporting Goods and get one of their guys to show me some stuff. I might do that also. But any tips or advice that you could... Uh, let me see how much time I got left here. Oh, I'm, I'm doing good. Okay. Let me show you a couple more things because last time I gave you this tour, I didn't show you... Oh, the first rabbit. The first rabbit I ever got. And... You know what? Where's his skin? I had it hanging around here somewhere. Oh, man. Whatever. I didn't get to show you my, my tree rest. That's a real nice... I think it's made by APG. I'm not 100% certain, but that's... Uh, that's one of them self-climbing ones, you know, not the permanent ones, but the kind you have to kind of, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, oh, I'm going to take you outside now and show you my, my homemade archery setup that I did in my backyard, okay? It's kind of drizzly out. It's definitely going to rain some more later today, but it's a nice day. Um, oh, look, there's a squirrel. Let me see if I can zoom in on him. You see him? You see him? Yeah, that'd be good with the air rifle. I've seen a lot of people do archery with those on YouTube. It's pretty brutal looking to see an, a, a squirrel get shot with a bow and arrow. But anyway, okay, so here it is. This is, uh, let me show you where I stand. I don't have a huge, huge yard. I, I don't think, oh, look, there's another squirrel. Cool, look, he's right there. Watch. Okay, he's going to go. Okay, so anyway, yeah, I usually stand. Let me Let me back up my camera a little bit. Is this zoomed in? No, okay. So I usually stand in this little dirt patch right here. And I'm guessing this is about 20 to, anywhere from 20 to 30 yards. Okay, now, let me show you. Uh, there's our pond. My wife loves to video the pond. Um, okay, so, let me show you what I got here. Oh man. Spider webs. I have a big piece of wood to keep the uh, wind from. But you know, once I get more familiar with this bow and how to use it, I'll film myself shooting so you guys can see how accurate my shot is. And hear those dogs barking? They're our next door neighbor's dogs, and they bark all the time. Constantly. Constantly, constantly. Like for hours at a time. Sometimes I go over there and feed them a little dog treat that'll shut them up temporarily, but. Anyway, this is it. Um, I think it's... You tell me what you think, but I think it's pretty safe as far as not being able to shoot through. I have two uh, archery targets on the bottom there. Plus, you know, that has three bales of hay that it would have to penetrate. And then the top one only has one bale, but it also has, there's also a piece of wood back here. So, anyway, that's it. That's my homemade archery range there. I'm... I've shot my crossbow many times at this, and uh, that works out quite well. But as far as my compound bow, I tell you, I'm still brand new, just learning, and I need you guys to, to give me some advice. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll have videos coming all, uh, all hunting season long, all right? Bye-bye.